Hey Vectors, in this video, I am going to show you how to choose your main hero in Shadow Fight Arena. Today we are going to go through all the heroes in Shadow Fight Arena and helping you pick your new main hero. But before we dive any deeper, be sure click that subscribe button so you don't miss out my future bit. First, we have the Mighty Ironclad. Now, if you are the type of player who like to play with high health and high damage, this tough boy is definitely perfect for you. You should play passive and do some heavy punch to deal insane amount of damage to your opponent. If the opponent is also using Ironclad, just focus on wrestling so you don't get punch led by another Ironclad. You must know how to use the Ironclad. I have a video on how to use him. Link in description. Stay close because Ironclad is short range hero. His only offensive advantage is by fighting close combat. Coming up next. We have Kate, she has an ability to absorb shadow energy. For this hero, if you are the type of player who can't dodge shadow attacks perfectly and want more shadow moves, then this hero is a better choice for you. You can equip all the shadow abilities and make use of them. I am recommending that don't focus on more defense. Focus on offense, her attack damage is high and can steal shadow energy from the opponent, or you can switch back your talent if you are the type of player who don't depend on shadow energy. Next, we have Helga. Helga has the advantage to smite the opponent if they enter shadow form. If you are the type of players who uses ranged weapons for backup and good at timing and positioning coordination, then this hero is perfect for your play style. A perfect light dash requires a logical prediction of opponent's movement. If you take fatal damage, you still have a chance to fight with a duration of in- Next, we have Sarge. Sarge is one of the best characters in the arena. Though his ranged attacks don't do much damage, his attacks can be followed up by a combo ender. If you are the type of players who likes combo attacks, and use heavy attacks, then this hero is perfect for your play style. Sarge is an insane damage combo warrior who can stun opponents, and even have invincibility. I have a video on how to use Sarge, link in description. His attacks are damaging and even fall damage is present in his attacks. This guy can be equipped in your team regardless of your play style. Next. We have Marcus, if you're the type of players who plays passive and like fast attack speed with high damage, then Marcus is a better choice for you. At first, he has a very slow attack speed but in his glitch form, his attack speed is increased, and he has a block breaker that is effective against players who play passive or camp. He does have one more optional shadow ability to equip and have a duration of invincibility either him when opponent goes shadow form or when Marcus reach shadow form. I think this is the hero you use main. Coming up next, we have Jack Bulwark. Now, this hero can be mastered, but it's hard, you must be skilled to use Jack properly. Jack Bulwark has a fracture effect that puts on opponent every hit. He also has a shadow fortress when opponent enters shadow form. If you are a skilled Jack player like Olympia, you can choose Jack Bulwark as your main. Keep practicing with Jack and one day you will master him in no time. Coming up next. We have Shang the Monk. Some people say that this character suck, but this character is probably one of the longest shadow duration in the game, and you can spam him using shadow moves. His attack do a lot of damage so don't underestimate him. If you are the type of players who love spamming then this is the hero that suits your play style. He has arrow which can stun his opponents, he also have a login range weapon that can back the opponent off. Coming up next, we have Hong Ju. If you are the type of players who likes to gain energy power then this hero is perfect for your play style. Hong Ju's special attack can already fill up his triumph bar completely. Though his heavy attack can already fill up most of his triumph bar, there is no reason not to use Hong Ju. He is literally the best character in Next on the list is Yuka. If you are the type of players who like combo attacks and not very good at defense, then this hero is suitable for your style. Yuka has shade to help her offense and defense. Her attacks are also painful if she has shade to start of a combo attack. Players who suck at defense and love combo attacks, congratulations, you have found your main hero.
Next on the list is Jet, she is one of the spamming characters in the game, if you are the type of players who are very skilled in spamming and dodging, then this character is the suit's best for your play style. She has a shadow harmony when she attacks the opponent 16 to 20 times. She also can be invisible until she gets hit. So if you are a master at movement and mobility, Jet is the best dynasty character for your place. Next on the list is Emperor. The Emperor has two forms. One is human and one is beast. The human form has high defense but low damage. But when the Emperor transforms, he has high damage, even lifesteal, but very low on defense. He also gains shadow energy very quickly. If you are the type of players who love lifesteal and shadow energy, this is the character you should choose from. Coming up next is Monkey King. He is only for the type of players who play passive and is a good at keeping a distance between the opponent and you. He has a good defense and long range weapon. He is hard to master, but when mastered, you will become unstoppable. Some spams the ascension of the Monkey King's power, and it can be useful sometimes. Coming up next is Ling. He has a fast attack speed and high health. If you are a beginner player with less skill, Ling may get you started on fighting skills. He has a flask which can either regenerate or give shadow energy. He can have three shadow moves. This hero is suitable for your style if you are just a beginner. You can control your defense by using a fence. Coming up next is Kibo. She has a shadow onslaught that can dash to a long range while attacked. If you are the type of player who likes to focus on a fence, then Kibo is a better choice that suits your playstyle. She has a shadow move that deals high damage. She have a high mobility and can recover her shadow energy pretty fast. She also have a chance to have a block breaker. Next is Fire Guard. If you are the type of players who camps patiently and focus of offense and defense balance, then Fire Guard might suit your playstyle. He generates shadow energy slowly. That's why you must wait patiently and burn the opponent while using shadow moves. He have a self-destruction ability when taking fatal damage. Next is Azuma. He creates an effect of neutralization after each hit he gives. Neutralization can stop opponent from entering shadow form or deal damage or from gaining shadow energy. If you are the type of players who plays with high mobility and an expert of shadow moves and counter, then Azuma can be suitable for almost every player. He has 4 shadow abilities each ability can cause neutralization. Next is Midnight. We have Midnight. She has a very fast attack speed but low range. She can disappear if her attack is missed. If you are the type of players who can play defensive and offensive at the right time, and have a good variety of skills like dodging using disappearance, then Midnight can be your best character to master your skills to main. She is not that hard to master. Last but not least, we have Lynx. Lynx is a high damaging assassin which can be invisible for a while and can block break opponents while invisible. If you are the type of player who isn't afraid of taking damage and play DIY offensive and skill, then Lynx is the best for your play style. Mastering him requires a lot of skill and once you have successfully mastered this legend, nothing can stand in your way. Before we end this video, I just want to let you know that you can join my Discord server and play friendly matches with Discord members and chat with community members. Well that's it for the video, we hope you enjoy watching this video, give this video 20 likes, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification button for all future content come, stay safe everyone out there and take care.